News. If you happen to drive by and saw a huge first responder presence on the Tennessee River in Florence today, there's no need to worry. Law enforcement as well as fire and rescue agencies from all across the state ran a large scale rescue drill, including boat tactics and emergency response procedures. News 19's Deidre Briscoe was there and has a look at the impact. In drills like this, timing is everything. These are our ambulatory patients. These are our critical patients. Cool. I've got them lined up. Gotcha. So as soon as they come down, if they'll grab one, we're untangling and we'll get them triaged as well. 140 pool noodles represented potential rescuees. They were put into the river, retrieved, and triaged for injuries. First responders say this simulated the possibility of a mass casualty situation involving one of the large passenger cruise lines that use the Tennessee River. One American medical response worker says once the rescuees made it to land, their job was to act fast. All that was really going through my head was we have to get them triaged, we have to get them moved. Of course, I was dependent on my team to come down and to hand them off as quickly as possible. Um, I was trying to get my head wrapped around what was actually going on with the patient so that we could treat them properly. The drill is to enhance maritime incident response for both law enforcement and fire and rescue agency personnel who would respond in the Tennessee River Regional Area. After the drill, the agencies reflected on what they could have done better. There were some improvements on the communication side, um, having an on-scene boat on the water uh, do a little bit better, maybe a different staging area uh, for the S-Mort or the county coroner uh, would have been an improvement. Emergency response procedures are critical in all cases, not just mass casualty situations. Law enforcement agencies who participated today say they plan to stay ready. Reporting in Colbert County, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. Now, Queen Voyage and American Cruise Lines send large passenger river cruise boats through that area.